Hey guys, it's Skylar and welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a little different. I took a poll on my Instagram about a week ago and I asked you guys whether or not you wanted to see a colorful glam look because it's been a while since I've done one of those or a full face paint, which I have not done on my channel yet. And I was kind of surprised by what you guys voted for. I wanna say within like the first 10 minutes, um, the votes for face paint spiked and it was kind of like that for a while and then within like the first 12 hours it evened out to like 50 50 and i was like great it's gonna be 50 50 with my luck and then i'm gonna be back at stage one and i don't know you know what to do um and then i want to say within like the last couple of hours it actually ended up switching and it ended up being like 56 percent for colorful glam and then i want to say like 34 or 44 percent for um a full face paint so that being said, that is what we are doing today. We are doing a colorful glam. I'm gonna be stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit in this video because I, I've noticed that looking back on some of the looks I've done, I rarely use purple and pink. I don't know what it is. I have nothing against those colors. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I just hardly ever use them. I don't know why. I don't have like a particular dislike for them. I just never use them. I always use like blues, greens, you know, the warmer tones. So that is what we're doing today. I am going to be doing like a purple and pink look. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. With that being said, if you guys are interested in today's video, then just keep watching. Like always, before I put on foundation, I am going to start with a primer and this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. And I'm gonna take, I would say a pump of this and I'm just gonna rub that on my nose and the sides of my cheeks. This is just where my pores are the biggest. Once you have that rubbed in, we can go ahead and get into foundation. Today, I am going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I am in the shade Swan. I'm gonna take like a pump and a half of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a damp beauty blender. This is one I got from the Morphe website. And I'm gonna go in with my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and spray one side of the flat part of the sponge. Only doing that like three times. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into some of that foundation and start to apply that to my face. This makes your skin look really dewy when you pair the Born This Way foundation with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So I just like how that looks on my face, especially if you have dry skin, you're better off going in with something a little bit more dewy. So this would be a really good mix for you if you have really dry skin. It kind of gives you that moisture and it doesn't bring attention to your dry patches. Next, I'm going in with my favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am in Fair Neutral. And I'm gonna take some of that, apply it underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and I usually will go along the sides a little bit. And then just in any problem areas that I have. And I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and I usually will take the tip of it and just start to blend that out. I will take the concealer that I put underneath my eye and I'll bring it onto my eyelid and this is just so I have a base to work with when I start with my eyeshadow. I've really been into using the concealer for my eyeshadow primer rather than an actual primer. I didn't, I don't know, I used to be like a stickler for eyeshadow primer, but I'm starting to think it's like a scam to be honest. I don't know, I just, I get the same if not better results just using the concealer. Going in with the pretty vulgar translucent powder, I'm gonna take some of that on the damp beauty blender and I'm gonna pack this onto my eye and underneath my eye. And this is just to set that concealer and foundation. And it'll also make it really easy to apply eyeshadow and blend it out later on. To keep the dewiness to this look, I'm not gonna apply powder anywhere else. However, if you have really oily skin, you can go ahead and powder the rest of your face and that'll kind of prevent it from looking shiny. However, I don't really have that issue with my face. I have more dry to normal skin. For bronzer today, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate So Wheel Bronzer and I'm gonna take this on a Morphe M438 brush and I'm gonna start to apply that in the contours of my cheek. I'm gonna take this Morphe E4 brush, it's just a tapered fluffy brush, and take more of that contour and apply that to the sides of my forehead and the middle of my forehead. And this is just to decrease the size of it. I do have a video up. I just recently posted all about contouring and highlighting. So if you want a more of an in-depth tutorial on how to do that, you can go ahead and check that out. I will link it down below if you are interested in watching that. Going in with the Morphe Master 8W palette, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Sweet, which is this really light pink. I want a subtle blush just because I am going with a really dramatic eyeshadow and I don't wanna go in with too much pink because I'm using pink eyeshadow. I feel like that'll be too much on my face. And I'm just gonna apply this right to the apples of my cheeks. Normally I apply a blush to the tip of my nose, but I'm not gonna do that today because I want this look to be really glam. I'm also gonna take the Morphe E3 brush, it's just a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna kinda go over the blush we just applied to diffuse it a little bit more and make it even more subtle than before. I'm gonna wait on highlight because the highlight I'm using today is liquid and I don't wanna screw up my makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I'm going in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown and then the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in chocolate. I'm gonna do this off camera, but if you want a tutorial on that, I do have a full in-depth tutorial. I will also link that down below with the contour and highlight basics. And you can check that out for yourself. All right, so I am done with my eyebrows. We can go ahead and get right into the eyeshadow. For today, I am using the Morphe and James Charles palette. And like I said, I'm gonna kind of step out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna go in with the pinks and the purples. So we'll see how this goes. Like I said, I hardly ever use these colors and I'm not really sure how it's gonna work or what it's gonna look like, but uh, we're gonna pray it's good. I don't remember the shade names anymore. I used to like have them memorized, but I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend that on my eyelid. This is just a fluffy Morphe brush. I got it in the 702 set. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm just gonna go ahead and start to blend that right in the crease and bring it up a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is a halo cut crease. And because I have hooded eyelids, I kinda need to bring all of the eyeshadow up higher because if I don't, it gets lost in that crease when I do the cut. So we're gonna bring everything a little bit up higher than I normally would. Fear not, it will look okay in the end, I think. And you don't really have to be precise with this color. I mean, it's basically the same color as my skin tone. It's light and we're really just throwing it on there as sort of like a transition and it makes all of the shades easier to blend eventually. So you don't really have to be too precise with this color. Like I said, I'm gonna do pinks and purples. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with purple on the outer corner of the eye and then I'm gonna slowly transition into pink, kind of like a an ombre effect. And then I'm gonna do that halo and I'm gonna use white, I think. I think, I don't know, I have to see when we get there. So I'm going in with a smaller Morphe brush, again from the 702 set, and we're gonna dive right in. I'm going in with this dark purple here. I wanna say that the shade name is Royalty. I could be really wrong, I don't know, I don't remember the names, but we're gonna go in with that and tap off the excess, because I don't know if this has followed or not, and I didn't powder underneath my eyes, we're just kind of sending it. I'm gonna go ahead and start to pack that onto the outer corner of the eye. And I'm gonna try and work a little bit at a time with the color because I don't really know how pigmented these are and I don't wanna take it too far. I don't wanna make it too, you know, over the top. So I'm gonna try and be really careful with how I'm applying this. I'm going in with some more of that. And I'm just gonna pack the color on before I blend out. I think that you'll get the best color payoff that way. And I'm gonna pack this, I'm, again, like I said, I'm going up a little higher than I normally would. So I'm taking this a little bit above the crease. My crease ends like right here. So I'm taking that a little higher than normal and we will eventually blend that out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this also a little bit into the center. However, I'm not putting any on my lid as we go in towards the center. And this is because when we do that cut crease, it'll make it easier if you, leave the center plain. And we're also going in with white, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to cover up color with white if you just apply that all over your lid. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that fluffy brush we used to apply that light brown, or tan, I guess. And I'm gonna start to blend this, just the edge. And you don't wanna blend this too far. I mean, if you want to, you can, but I don't wanna make this too blown out, so I'm really just focusing on the crease of that purple. This actually is blending out pretty easy too. Normally when I'm blending out eyeshadow, I'll kind of go in windshield wiper motions and then I will start to go in like circular motions right on that 
harsh line that we created by packing on that purple. You can also see as we start to blend it out, it's kind of losing that punch of color that it had originally when we packed it on. So I am gonna go in with more purple after I diffuse this. I'm also gonna blend the center in over a little bit, not too much, but enough so that way when we add the pink, it'll kind of blend more seamlessly together. One thing I am noticing a little bit that I'm having trouble with is I feel like it's blended pretty well, except for right here. I can't seem to get that to blend out. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it in the mirror in front of me. There is like that slight hiccup and there's just like a little line there when I originally packed on the color. What I'm gonna try and do is actually pack on more of that purple because I did lose some of that pigment and I'll go ahead and try and blend that out again and see if that kind of helps. <laughs> All right, packing on more purple seemed to fix that problem I was having, but I still want this to be even more pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that purple. And I'm really only focusing on like the outer portion of the eyelid. I'm not taking this as high up, but I want that purple to be really pigmented. And I'm also gonna go in with that Morphe E3 brush, which is this fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna lightly wipe away underneath my eye. I don't see any fallout, but I like to be precautious, so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it away anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye before I go in with the pink. This is just because I'm gonna apply the pink with this small brush that I've been applying the purple with, and I don't wanna go back and forth and have to clean off my brush a million times. So I'm gonna go ahead, apply the purple on the other eye and do the same exact thing that I did. <laughs> Going in with a small smudger brush, this is also Morphe, going in with that purple. And I'm gonna run this along the bottom lash line, but only the outer portion. I'm gonna kind of like split it in half. I'm gonna put pink towards the inner corner of my eye, and then we're gonna leave the purple on the outer corner. So now that we have all the purple done, I'm gonna go in with the bright ass pink shade from this palette. And I'm gonna go in with that small Morphe brush that we used to stamp on the purple. And I'm using the Veramona color switch and I'm just gonna swirl my brush around in that until it's clean of the purple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that really bright pink. Tap off the excess. And I'm gonna start to apply this like right, right where we ended that purple just because I don't wanna apply it too high up on the inner portion of my eye because that'll look funny. And I'm also gonna go ahead and apply this right on the inner corner of the lid. Again, keeping the center clear of color because we're gonna apply white there. And I'm packing this color on. It's actually pretty pigmented. I have a feeling this is gonna stain my eyelid. And I'm gonna go in with the same fluffy brush that we used to blend out that purple. Again, going with the Veramona color switch. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the very edge of the pink. I'm not bringing this too far in, I'm not bringing it up. We're just diffusing the edge. So I'm just lightly going in circles and I'm not moving my brush too much because I really don't wanna move this color. And I'm also gonna go in the center of the two colors where they combined and I'm gonna blend them together. I also want this pink to be more pigmented so I'm going in with more of that shade and I'm gonna go ahead and pack it on some more. You can do this look with any color you want. You could do green and blue or yellow and blue, yellow and green. You could do red and orange if you wanted to, yellow. It really depends on you. If you don't wanna go in with like these really bright colors, obviously you don't have to. You could totally go in with neutrals too. You could do like a lighter brown to a darker brown and you could cut the middle. But. You guys asked for a colorful look, so I am delivering a colorful look. All right, I feel like that's pretty good for the pigment and the blend, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. Taking that small brush we used to apply the purple underneath our eye, I'm going in with that bright pink, 
And I'm gonna apply this to the inner corner of the bottom lash line and we're blending that into the purple that we previously applied. I'm going in with the E3 brush again and I'm just gonna brush underneath my eye. Again, I don't see any fallout, but I like to do this just as a precaution. So I know I said that I wanted to go in and do like a sharp halo cut crease, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and take that white shade. I believe this is flashback. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the center of the lid and I'm gonna blend that into the purple and the pink. I'm really only focusing this white shade in like the center of the lid and I'm just kind of blending it into the purple and the pink. I'm gonna go in with that same brush that we used to stamp on the two colors and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more of that pink just a little bit and I'm just gonna reapply that to the inner corner and just kind of blend it into the white a bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that dark purple and do the same thing, just blending it into the white so it kind of has like a seamless blend. The last thing I'm gonna do is go in with that fluffy brush that we use to blend out the edges of our eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the Veramona color switch and then I'm just going to blend all three of those eyeshadows together so they blend seamlessly on the eyelid. All right, so that is it for the eyeshadow. I have to say, I think pink and purple is one of my new favorite colors to work with. I don't know, there's something about it. I just love how it looks. This is a little bit too dramatic for me to wear out and about, but you could totally pair that bright pink color with like a neutral smoky eye and you could put the pink right underneath the eye just to give you a pop of color. I think it would be so pretty. That is it for the eyeshadow though. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara and lashes and I will be right back. By the way, because I don't think I mentioned it, the lashes I am wearing today are the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes, and this is in the style Instaglam. These are one of my favorite lashes to wear. All right, lashes are on. I am going in with highlight, which is my favorite part of the routine, and I am going in with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, and this is in the shade Celestial. You know I love this stuff. I always mix it in with my foundation, but I do go in with this occasionally for highlighters. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this because if you put on too much, there is no going back. And I just apply a little bit to my cheek and this was even a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take some and put it on the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and blend that out with my finger, just tapping. You don't wanna rub because you will smudge your foundation and any powder product that you put on. This stuff is really pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. You don't wanna go over the top. You can see how pigmented it is. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's pretty pigmented. You will glow to the gods. I'll take whatever's left on my finger and just kind of tap that lightly on the tip of my nose and like the bridge of my nose. That's actually it for highlighter. I don't want to go over the top too much because I feel like we already have enough attention on the eyes. I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. This is Christmas cookie. It's very nude, which is good when you're doing like a bright eye look. I think when you pair a nude lip with bright eyes, it looks really stunning. Or if you do like a natural eye look, I think that like a bright lip looks really good. So I'm going in with the Too Faced Lip Insurance Primer. You don't really need this, but I apply it anyways, no matter what. I don't know why, I just feel like I need to. And then I go ahead and line my lips. is it for today's look. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Dry faster, bitch. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. That's, this is not foundation. I do that every time. Do, 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 do. Do 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 My ceiling is like natural wood. My parents did it themselves and I'm pretty sure I have one of my hairs dangling from the ceiling. I don't know how I got up there. I can't reach the ceiling. I'm only like 5'4". I don't know how I got up there. But it's just dangling in the wind. Having a good time. Having a party.